from Miami Beach, Florida, it's theCUBE, covering Acronis Global Cyber Summit 2019. Brought to you by Acronis. Hello everyone, welcome to theCUBE coverage here in Miami Beach, the Fontainebleau Hotel for the Cronus Global Cyber Summit 2019. Two days of coverage. Uh, we're here getting all the action on what's going on in cyber, how tools and platforms are developing, the new model of cybersecurity. The Cronus, a leader, fast growing, rapidly growing now back in the, here in the United States and globally. We're here with William Toll, head of product marketing at the Cronus. Thanks for coming on, appreciate it. Well thanks John, I'm excited you're here. So, um, we were briefed on kind of the news, but you guys had more news here. Sure. Uh, first of all, great keynotes, uh, and then special guests, Shark Tank uh, on as well. That's right. Great, great event, but you had some news. That's that right. Slipped by me, you guys were holding it back. Yeah, tell sure. Us, tell so, us the big news. Uh, we've opened our APIs, and that's enabling a whole ecosystem to build on top of our cyber protection solutions. So you guys have a, a platform, infrastructure platform, mm -hmm. and then a suite of services from backup all the way through, you know, protection and all that good stuff, as That's well right. as partners. That's a right. lot of channel action. Platforms are the mode here. You guys have been rapidly right. growing That's 16 right. plus years. Yeah, and now uh, with the opening of our APIs, we're opening the possibility for even more innovation from third parties, from ISVs, from managed service providers, from developers that want to build on our platform and deliver their solutions to our ecosystem. You guys are a very technical company. I'm very impressed with the people. Obviously cyber, you got to yeah. have the chops. You can't fake it in cyber. That's you right. guys do a great job and have a track record. Right. Um, you got the APIs, but you also have SDKs, a variety of different layers. Um, so the APIs is going to bring out more goodness for developers. Um, you guys, I heard a rumor, is it true, that you guys are launching a developer network? That's right, so the Acronis Developer uh, Network actually launches today here at the show, and uh, we're inviting developers. So that's official? That's official. Okay. And uh, they can go to developers.acronis.com, and when they go in there, they will find uh, a whole platform where they can gain access to forums, documentation, and uh, blogs and uh, all of our software development kits, as well as a sandbox. So developers can get access to uh, the platform and start developing within minutes. So take, uh, what's the attraction for ISVs and developers? I mean, you guys obviously are, again, technical. What is your uh, pitch to developers? Why would they be attracted to uh, your APIs and, and uh, developer resources? Sure, it's simple, our ecosystem. We have over 50,000 IT channel partners, and they're active in small businesses. So over 500,000 business customers and five million end customers all can benefit from the solutions that they bring to our uh, cyber cloud solutions portal. What type of solutions are available on the platform today? So there's solutions that integrate um, PSA tools, professional services automation, RMM tools, um, tools for managing cloud, tools for managing SaaS applications. Um, for example, one of our uh, partners manages Office 365 accounts. And if you put yourselves in, in the shoes of a system administrator who's managing multiple SaaS applications, now they can all be managed in the Acronis uh, platform, leverage our user uh, experience UI SDK, and have a seamless experience for that administrator to manage everything, to have the same group policies uh, across all of their You customers. guys have had success with um, ISVs channel as a channel, obviously mm -hmm. channel in general, but ISVs and um, managed service providers, MSPs, managed mm -hmm. service providers. Right. What's the dynamic between ISVs and MSPs? Could you unpack that? Sure, so uh, a lot of MSPs depend on certain solutions. One of uh, our partners is ConnectWise. ConnectWise is here, they're exhibiting one of the sponsors at, at this show and they're a leader in providing uh, managed solu management solutions for MSPs to manage all of their customers, right? And then all the endpoints. Right. So if I participate in um, the developer network, is that where I get my, the APIs? How, does, That's how right. does someone get the access to these APIs? So you visit developer.acronis.com, you come in, you gain access to all the APIs, the documentation, we have uh, libraries that'll be supporting uh, six languages, including C Sharp, Python, Java. They can come in, gain access to those, the documentation and start building. There's a sandbox where they can test their code. There's SDKs 
there's examples um, that are pre-built and documentation and guides on how to use those SDKs. So customers, the end, your end customers or your channel customers customer, do they get the benefits of the ISV stuff in there? So in other words, does the developer network have a marketplace where ISVs sure. can push their, their sure. solutions in there? Right. Also launching today, we have the Acronis Cyber Cloud Solutions Portal, and inside there, there's already 30 integrations that we've worked over the years to build using that same set of APIs and SDKs. Okay, so just to get this, uh, the hard news straight, opening up the APIs. That's right. Um, Acronis Developer Network mm -hmm. launched today and Cloud Solutions Portal. That's right, Acronis Cyber Cloud Solutions Portal. Got and it. And inside there, there's documentation on all the different solutions that are available today. What's been the feedback so far on those? It's been great. You know, if we think about all of the solutions that we've already integrated, we have, uh, you know, hundreds of managed service providers using just one solution that we've already integrated. William, we were talking before we came on camera about kind of the old days, been in this business for a long time. I mean, I mean, just the cube. We've been documenting the IT transformation with the cloud right. since in ten years. But I've been in this in thirty years. But the ways have come and gone, and we talk to CISOs all the time now. And the number one constant pattern that emerges is they don't want another tool. That's right. They want That's to right. consolidate. Exactly. They're looking for tools. Don't get me wrong. They need exactly. Tools work fit, but they're looking for a cohesive platform, right. one that's horizontally scalable that enables them to either that's right. take advantage of a suite of uh, services or a few. That's right. This is a trend. Do you agree with that? What's your take I, on it? I totally agree with that, right? It makes it much easier to, to deal with provisioning, user management, and billing, right? We think about a managed service provider and all of their customers, they need that one tool. It makes their lives so much easier. And of course, uh, an event would not be the same if we didn't have some sort of machine learning involved. That's How right. much has machine learning been a uh, focus for you guys, and what's been some of the, the innovations that come from some of the machine learning sure, stuff I mean, you guys have done? Artificial intelligence is critical today, right? It's uh, how we're able to offer uh, some really top-rated uh, ransomware protection, anti-malware protection. We could not do that without artificial intelligence. All right, final question for you. What's the top story at the show this week? If you had to kind of boil it down, high order bit for the folks that right. couldn't make it watching this sure. video, what's sure. the top story they, they should pay attention to? Top story is that Acronis is leading the effort in cyber protection and it's a revolution, right? We're taking data protection with cybersecurity to create cyber protection. Bringing that all together really democratizes yeah. a lot of enterprise IT and makes it accessible to a wider market. You know, we've always said on theCUBE, go back and look at the tapes. It's a data problem. That's right. Data protection, cyber That's right. protection, That's all right. gotta work hand in yeah. hand. We, Acronis, everything we do is about data. We protect data from loss, we protect data from theft, and we protect data from manipulation. It's so critical today. How many customers do you guys have? You, I saw some stats out there. Um, you guys were founded in 2003 in Singapore, second headquarters in Switzerland in 2008, global company, 1,400 employees and 32 offices. Nice, nice origination story there. Right. Not a Johnny come lately, you guys have been around for a while. Right. Um, what's the numbers? So, so uh, five million end customers, 500,000 business customers, 50,000 IT channel partners. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Well done. Thanks. Thanks, thanks for having John. us here in Miami right. Beach. Thanks. Not a bad venue, as I said on Twitter just a minute ago. <laughs> Great place. Thanks for having thanks. us. All right, Appreciate thank it. you, John. This is theCUBE coverage here in Miami Beach at the Fontainebleau Hotel for the Cyber Global Cybersecurity Summit here with Cronus. I'm John Furrier, back with more coverage after this short break.